Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. This video is going to feature two adversary colored outfits in green and pink using a component transfer and also the merge glitch. So you see the two previews here. And I had mentioned the videos are going to be a little different. So instead of running you through every single item in the video, I'm wasting your time. <laughs> As always, I'll have the components linked in the description below. You can also pause the video to see what you're actually putting together while you're watching the video. I do want to give two little tips here. We're using the sand gun running t-shirt as a merge shirt. You probably haven't seen that used very often. And then also for these party shirts or regular shirts, you cannot buy them open um, usually. So if you do need to open that, just open it through your interaction menu. So just make sure you have these outfits saved in, in a slot one and a slot two. And then you're going to transfer these over to your female character using a component transfer glitch. So you can see here that I'm saving the current outfit that I had on before doing the glitch. And I'm actually gonna be using the paramedic belt off of this. If you do not currently have a paramedic belt, um, I'll link a job where you can uh, get it for PS4. You can also use one of these prison guard belts in the Diamond Casino outfits. You can also merge together one of the air racing suit belts or one of the racing suit belts. All of those looked really good with this outfit, but you'll need to make sure you save it after that outfit slot that had the party shirt in it. So now we're going to merge. You want to open a Rockstar Created Versus job called Crooked Cop. Make sure you set that to play your own clothing, and then you'll load into the outfit selection screen. So you want to scroll to that third outfit, back to slot two, and then back to slot one. And you can see here that we now have all of these items merged together. So we end up with a really nice looking green outfit. Um, I'm also going to show you how to put together a hat and a mask with this. Um, and so you'll see that here in a second. You'll also see that we have on a green sports uh, track top or sports track jacket <laughs> as well as some green knee pad cargos and then also the green scuba shoes without the flippers. I did also just want to add a note that with the adversary items that I'm showcasing in this video or that I've recently added to the component list for channel members, they the items don't have every color available just using components and so whatever I could find, whatever was available was added to the list. For example, this green jacket um, only has the green. <laughs> but anyways, you're just going to open up your interaction menu. You want to go to style accessories, left once to gear um, in the earpiece. And then you just want to quit the drop through your phone. So now you can save this outfit. I'm actually going to save this just in a random slot here. And I'm going to show you how I put together the hat and the rebreather. So under the, um, the new heist outfits, we have under Gorilla the Logician outfit, and that's actually an adversary green um, military cap. So I wanted to feature that and just show you that and add it to this outfit. So it's really easy, just make sure you purchase it. We're gonna do the telescope glitch where you run at the telescope, hold right in your D-pad, stop, but not look through it, and then select that saved outfit. Go ahead and save the outfit again, and then we're also going to add a rebreather. So just add a rebreather through your interaction menu. And then you want to do the same thing again. We're going to run at the telescope, hold right on the D-pad until you stop, but not look through it. Select the saved outfit now that has the hat on it. Exit out the interaction menu, walk away, and then you see everything is glitched here. So this is a pretty neat outfit. It's definitely more tactical, but it all matches, <laughs> which is really nice. And so we'll go ahead and get started and move on to the next one. So this outfit, same tip and trick here. If you're trying to open these party shirts or just the regular shirts, make sure you do that through your interaction menu. And then you can go in any t-shirt section and select no top to have no top underneath. Also make sure that you have the visor up in that combat helmet or it will not turn into the low beanie. You can also do that through your interaction menu. And then we're saving the gray retro spacesuit under Arena Wars in the slot after that outfit. The pink chain pants are actually the um, gray retro spacesuit bottoms. So we'll just be merging from that outfit. So you can pause if you need to or drop down the description. But after you've transferred, if you have a current outfit on you want to save, you need to make sure you do that. 
And there's no outfits we have to put together in free mode. So we'll go straight into the Rockstar Create It Versus job called Crooked Cop. You'll want to make sure you set that to player owned clothing. And then you'll load into the outfit selection screen. So we're scrolling to outfit slot two, then back to outfit slot one. And you can see the completed outfit here. We have on the pink camo chain pants. Those are arena war pants. We have on the Young Ancestors hoodie. So even if you don't already have this unlocked, doesn't matter. It's not going to delete or glitch away or anything like that. So this is a way to get it without unlocking it. And then you also have the pink beanie. So this is really, really important to note that um, these chain pants, I found all the colors, but purple has a hard time transferring um, with the completed outfit. So I would recommend doing like the change appearance glitch to put on the crew top and removing the helmet for that. Um, and then really anything else with the adversary colors, just make sure you're cautious when you're creating outfits. You'll also notice I spawn with weird gloves, but we can change those in free mode. So I'll show you that too. So you just, again, wanna go to your interaction menu, go to style, accessories, and gear, and go left once to earpiece. Very important to just do earpiece when you're wearing hats that you wanna keep. And then you can go save this outfit in any slot. It doesn't really matter. And then you'll see here that I go into my interaction menu and go to style, accessories, and gloves. And then I'm going to change these to white, um, white surgical gloves, I think. I did actually add that in the components um, to get that. Hopefully it transfers correctly when you do it. If not, you can just change it here. And so we're going to do two things. I'm first going to glitch together a rebreather with this low beanie so I'll show you that glitch and then I'm going to show you the new bigness duffel bag glitch because I just kind of wanted to add it to this outfit and I'll show you that if you don't want to see either of those you don't have to keep watching <laughs> but in order to glitch a rebreather with the low beanies there is a trick to it you do it normally as you would through the telescope but you cannot save it in your closet so you'll just need to head to a clothing store or ammunition to actually save it so keep that in mind. It also glitches the, the hair out, which is really cool. If you just wanna have the hair glitched out by itself, you can just add or remove an earpiece and then again, save that at the clothing store um, or at ammunition. And so I'm going to quickly run you through the duffel bag, the bigness duffel bag glitch on the female character. It's super easy. I'll show you how to obtain it as well as transfer it to an outfit and then save it. Um, I've shown that method on my video tons of time just with regular duffel bags, but we'll do it again here too. So it's really, really easy. You just need to go over to the tops section and you can put on any jersey. So it can be a racing jersey. It could be the sports jerseys. It can also be the um, the jerseys that you can buy at the Diamond Casino. Um, basically, any jersey that you can add or remove racing gloves with will work for this glitch. You also need to make sure that you have ammo that you can equip, as well as the um, Israel shoot bag. So as long as you have those couple of items together, this glitch is super easy. So you want to put on and save the outfit that you wanted to put the duffel bag on with the Israel shoot bag. So I'm just gonna put that on and save it over the outfit slot in slot three here. Then I'm gonna go to the top section. I'm gonna just put on the first racing jersey on the list. I'm going to add armor to the outfit through my interaction menu. And then I am going to just start scrolling through the different parachutes until I get the bag that I want. So I'll list what each parachute equals. Um, if you don't have that parachute already purchased, make sure you have that purchased if you wanted a specific bag. So the first one, I think it was the first one I scrolled over to, it was the, the black combat one. Um, and so this is the duffel bag that I'm gonna glitch onto the outfit. First, I'm going to go to my interaction menu, back to the armor and remove the armor. And then I'm actually gonna hop on my oppressor. You can get in a helicopter, any bike or any vehicle that takes you in the air that you can jump out of is what you're looking for here. And we're gonna head down to the beach. So this is the part that gets a little tricky for everybody. It might take you a couple of tries, just be patient if it does. But you're just gonna fly really, really high in the air. 
you're going to exit the vehicle and then deploy your parachute. And then you wanna open up your interaction menu, go to style and select the outfit you want the duffel bag on. And then you're gonna very carefully parachute into the mask shop. You wanna literally hit it and stumble. And while you're stumbling, you wanna press right on your D-pad so that you quickly load into the section. Then you wanna very quickly save your outfit and then you wanna exit out of the mask store. If you then go back into your interaction menu and style and select that outfit, the duffel bag will appear on for you. So that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I really appreciate it. Make sure you check the description for all the things that you might need. Make sure you drop a like, leave some comments, and I'll see you soon in the next video.